Hi, this is Alan Haynes from Photocitizen.com. Today I want to talk to you about a brand new feature in Adobe Photoshop Lightroom 2. It's called the Adjustment Brush. You'll find the Adjustment Brush in the Develop module. It's the right hand tool on the tool strip, which is now located right below the histogram in your right side panel. Click on the brush and a new palette pops open with controls and settings specific for the Adjustment Brush. In the lower part of that panel, you'll see controls for brush size and a few other characteristics. And up above, you've got all the different types of adjustments that can be made. In this video, I'm going to concentrate on just one of these settings, and that's the exposure. What I want to do with this image is tone down some of these overly bright spots on the rocks and the waterfall itself. So to get started doing that, I'll click on the minus button next to exposure which by default will give me a setting of minus one on the uh, slider which will be fine for our purposes now and then I'm going to come over to the image with my cursor and you'll see as I roll it over any spot on the image it turns into a circular almost like a target and you'll notice that there's a plus sign in the middle of that target that indicates I'm about to set up a new adjustment so let's get started I'm going to click uh, with my left mouse button and then just paint in the negative adjustment to the exposure. So watch what happens. I'm holding down the mouse button and it's making everything darker. And when I get to about where I want, I uh, let go of the mouse button and you can see it's not as bright as it was before. If you'd like to compare, there's an on-off switch down here at the bottom of the palette. So if I click it, turn off the adjustment watch what happens to that rock in the upper right hand corner it goes back to as bright as it was before so I can click click and compare so now we're back with the adjustment showing you'll also notice that this little circle is here and if you hover over that circle you're going to see a, a red highlight showing you the area that you affected with your brush and the fact that it has a black center means it's the active area you'll see what that means in a second we also want to adjust this rock down here. To do that, I'm going to set up a new adjustment. So I'm going to come up back to the palette where it says Mask, New. Click on that. Come back to the image and click in the lower left and start painting in some negative exposure adjustment in that area. Maybe I want this corner to be darker than the rest, so I'll paint there a little bit more. All right. Now when I let go, you'll notice there's another one of those circles. It has the black uh, center to it, which means it's the active one. The one that we were looking at before is now a solid circle, which means it's not active. And what does that mean to have an active area? Well, whatever area is active, you can go back into your palette and make further adjustments without having to do any repainting. So let's say I really wanted to darken that lower left hand corner. It is active right now. I can tell by the black spot in the middle of the, the dot down there. If I drag this slider down, let's make it really crazy. We'll go down to minus four, which is the lowest you can go. And you see how dark that got. But it didn't change this one at all because they're two separate adjustments and this lower left was what was active at the time. Let's go back and adjust this to something more reasonable. Maybe, uh, yeah, 1.3 or so. Now we can very quickly do the, the similar thing with this ridge up here. We make a new adjustment, tone that down, and we'll make one more new adjustment and we'll actually even enlarge the brush a little bit with the right bracket keys, the same as Photoshop. Come in here and get this waterfall. As you can see, I just made four very quick adjustments to this image. I can go back and work on this as long as I want without ever affecting the original image. At any time, I can go back to the original image and start over. That's the beauty of non-destructive editing, which is one of the hallmarks of Lightroom. So for now, this is Alan Haynes from PhotoCitizen.com saying thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.